Hey everyone, Lou with Bergen Pickers here, and today, as per a request from one of our subscribers, Crystal Murphy, shout out to you, uh, we were asked exactly this. Uh, would you cover how you clean different stones and metals in a video one day? I would love that. Thank you so much for sharing. Totally enjoyed this. So Crystal, um, I'm going to show you exactly how we clean our uh, vintage costume jewelry. And I use an ultrasonic cleaner um, just to get the, the crud off and the little dust and the little uh, bits and, and verdigris and everything. So I'm going to show you a little bit about that. Uh, this is an earring. It's nice and sparkly, and as you can see in the back, it's got that verdigris there, right there. And instead of going in with a Q-tip right away, um, it could use a little cleaning. You can just tell by, by the touch that it's kind of yucky, I guess you could say. So I'm going to drop this guy right in here. So this is just regular cold water, okay? Um, you don't need distilled water or anything like that. It doesn't really matter how you drop it in there, but just for the sake of keeping my hands dry right now I'm gonna use a little little pair of tweezers so this is a ring right there it's part of the same set and on the back you can see kinda in there that there's crud and whatnot in there this is metalware this you cannot correct okay once this is worn a layer of the plating has been uh, taken off and, and that's the end of that okay um, still cool to sell it as a set you know because it completes it but that right there is just irreparable. It is what it is. So we're going to drop that in there just to clean it off and make sure that um, the next person who will own it can use it or wear it and at the very least enjoy it cleanly. All right, let's drop this guy in there. And then I have this brooch uh, by Coro. It's signed Coro right there. Again, it's a little cruddy. So we'll drop that in there carefully. I always like grabbing it by the pin, make sure that it's closed. So I'll grab it by the pin. I'm gonna drop it in face up just so I can um, check on progress. Okay, so that's in there. Then we have another dusty pair, kind of a little bit grimy right there. Okay. There we go. This, I believe, you see the figure eight puddling along the back here? This may be Juliana earrings. I haven't confirmed them yet, but I'm going to look into that after cleaning them. Um, so Juliana, the Liza and Elster. Um, that's what this could be. Same here. Whoop. That one went right in. Couldn't wait. Wanted to be clean. Jumped right in. All right. So one uh, thing I need to warn you about um, and what an ultrasonic cleaner could do. So if you have any jewelry that's already peeling... If the metal is peeling already, if you see little folds in the metal, because this is, after all, just foil, um, like plated foil and, and coloring. So if you see anywhere that it's, that it's kind of peeling off or it's got little bits or whatever, um, the ultrasonic cleaner may take more off. Okay, so please uh, use it at your own risk. Make sure you inspect the piece before you drop it in. Okay. There we go, and this one goes in as well. So, um, besides water, I also use this now. I'm not getting paid by these guys or anything, you know, but, you know, Blitz, call me, okay, product placement, or just send me a box of this stuff. Um, but yeah, this is what I use. Uh, it's not the only one out there. There's, you know, other brands out there, and I'm sure um, other collectors and whatnot probably use maybe homemade concoctions or whatever maybe but I personally use this it's just easy I don't have to worry about it um, and that's blitz it tells me to yeah I'll show you the, the uh, directions da -da -da -da, directions shake well before use pour four caps full of concentrated one ounce yada yada into tank okay instead what I'll do is I will shake it up okay and I'm already used to it so I'm just gonna squeeze in a little bit and I'll tell you a little secret, you don't need to use four caps. Um, okay, so that's that. So now I'll just close the top over here and I'll press the on button and then uh, I'm not gonna bore you with it. I'll just come back when they're nice and clean, okay? Okay, we're back, it finished running. 
So let's take a look inside and see how it cleaned up. All right, let's start first with uh, the red rhinestone earring over here. It's a little wet as expected. Okay, still got the verdigris right there and right there. Okay, so what I recommend is now, if it didn't come right off, take a Q-tip to it. Okay, see that green part right there? Okay, it's coming off a little bit. Got to put a little more pressure on it to get in there. Um, and more is coming off. So there's plenty of verdigris in there. So it takes a while. So, I mean, consider the amount of time that you have to spend on cleaning a piece like this. You know, if you're looking to resell, see, it's getting better. Okay. Um, consider how much time you have to spend cleaning something before uh, you resell it. You know, your time is valuable. Only clean the pieces that might bring you, you know, that you can profit from, you know, with your time invested in it. Um, that's my recommendation. You know, um, every now and then you get jewelry that's just, it's it's got funky odors, and it's just really grimy. And the quality isn't that great, you know. You you screw it up. You you bought a lot, and and um, it's just really grimy and everything. And see how that dirt's coming right off. So this is what I do. Okay. So let's move on to the next piece. Um, well sometimes actually, maybe I can use this one. Okay. So it's still got that that vertigree there, and right here too. So you just go back in with a Q-tip. And clean that. Um, if it's stubborn, if that verdigris is stubborn, I recommend using a toothpick so the wood won't damage the metal. Again, unless it's flaking off. If it's anything that's flaking off, I would not recommend cleaning it. But if if you find like a stubborn spot, or if you need to get in between certain areas, you use Q-tips. Um, excuse me, toothpicks, and get in there and just like get it out or loosen it up, and then maybe drop it in for another round into the uh, ultrasonic cleaner, okay? Um, as far as which cleaner to use, I think they're all pretty much made in China, so it doesn't really matter, they're all exactly the same. Um, I'm currently in the market for a larger one, just so I can do more of a bulk cleaning. Um, if things are still rough, okay, and there's a lot of crud in the center, uh, or like on, on the edges over here, just go in with a hard bristle toothbrush that you can buy at the dollar store. You can buy like seven of them at the dollar store. Um, and that's why I use, and these will last you forever. And that'll, things will come off a little easier. And don't press too hard, because you don't want any rhinestones popping off. Okay, but you can get in there. Every now and then just wet it a little bit. There we go. And just clean like that, okay? Yeah, you see that bubbling right there? That's from the glitz. That we dropped in the water earlier. And that's fine. Okay, so we'll dip that in there and take it out. Um, let's take a look at how our coral brooch ended up. It's just less grimy. You can see the enamel shining a little better. Overall, it's a little shinier. So that's good. Even the back is a little shinier too. So that's nice. Um, I always use uh, to... I'll, I'll let the jewelry air dry. Um, I'll try to shake it out a little bit. You know, just give it a little shake like that. But for the most part, just let it air dry. Set it up um, on a, on a uh, cotton cloth. Um, I had little ones recently. And uh, so we use their old uh, clothing, like their onesies and stuff. And, uh, and that's what I'm using instead of going out there and buying rags. And you see how this came out pretty nice? See how it's shinier? Especially the, the, the large rhinestone on this piece. It was a little cloudy, now it's it's nice and clean. See that shine, that glimmer? That's what we want. Um, the other one is pretty much going to have the same effect. Another word of warning. Uh, the only other thing that could go wrong is if you have any loose rhinestones in any piece. Because the, the ultrasonic uh, cleaner, it does 
shake things up like super fast and loosens up the grime and everything what you may also find and this happens uh, I, I guess depending on the piece if, if it's something that's you know not solid you know if some of these rhinestones aren't in there like and prongs or anything like that and they kind of just glued on um, and they're loose to begin with you know it some of them you might end up finding in the bottom here uh, but this should be pretty easy to reattach and I'll cover that part in another video how to attach loose rhinestones okay but here there you go nice and shiny cleaner um, I let them air dry and that's how I clean my vintage costume jewelry and as you can see the water and I'm gonna bring this in a little closer got a little murk here I don't know if you can see any like little bits in there okay um, you can still reuse it a little while if the water starts getting a little too dark I would just you know just clean up get rid of the water dump the water you know put in another fresh batch and a little more glitz and um, and you're good to go for another batch all right uh, because it is time consuming I would maybe spend a day on just cleaning or maybe a morning of just cleaning and then you know uh, selling the individual pieces maybe in the afternoon or for another day or something like that um, but yeah, but that's that's what I would do. Um, so yeah, this, it's been Lou with Bergen Pickers, filling in a request here for uh, one of our subscribers, and I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. So please subscribe, please like the video if you thought it was helpful, um, and I'll see you next week.